so now it's my slide. I just prepared about, uh, I think I eight slides quickly yesterday. Just to keep all uh, people here in Tamilong in Pal that oh, yes. all about. So uh, first light back to the first light. Sangle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To the beginning. Yeah, the screen sharing has started, sir. Anna. Yes. This saw the oh yeah. yeah. Now I have just put in one photograph into my opening slide. Why I just like to uh, tell you people in Tamilong that Tamilong is also under this rainforest cover zone, tropical rainforest cover zone, and this is a photograph from Indonesia. Very typical of Indonesia and Malaysia, where we have very tropical rainforest, and you see the divide in this photograph. Half of the photograph is completely straight up the rainforest cover. And uh, below green one, the Nalin. So this photograph is very, uh, it says so much of what will happen if oil palm comes into notice into a very tropical rainforest by the sensitive area. Next slide, please. So in very brief, uh, I'm just highlighting for our people here what the issue is all about. The conflict over palm oil is, uh, palm oil is being propagated by government of India as one of the uh, most usable edible oil. And, uh, and it's, it's, this palm oil is needed for promoting uh, different industry, cosmetics, soaps, chocolates, and so many things. Uh, but then in contrast to this uh, beneficial phase of palm oil that the government is trying to propagate, there's also the other side of the phase, which is the palm oil is emerging as one of the most disputed source of edible oil in the world. So, Palm oil, as government of India itself has put a ban on import of palm oil from Indonesia and Malaysia because of pressure from all international agencies, CSO, international organization, whatever is there. There's a lot of pressure on uh, to withdraw palm oil plantations because primarily it's affecting uh, very rich tropical forest areas. We are talking about Southeast Asia, we are talking about uh, Latin America, where very sensitive biodiversity ecology are being impacted by this monoculture, or which large tracts of forest area just cut down, depleted, burned down to get this monoculture. Next slide. Please. So, as you can see from this photograph, uh, which many people of you may have seen already before, because these are being uploaded more frequently in both Facebook and LinkedIn, where there are a lot of discussion going on around, around the world, why palm oil is being uh, issued now. Uh, so, uh, uh, light in what's happening in Indonesia or Peru, Colombia. Sri Lanka is banning palm oil pollution. Oh. As you are seeing in this uh, right hand photograph, you see the divide clearly. You know. Everywhere there is divide. Small green patch is left, where on the right hand side, the left hand side of the photograph, you see white depletion of the. That is extensive clearing of the uh, tropical rainforest just because of this monoculture. So imagine uh, government of India introducing about trying, uh, introducing palm oil in North East India in an initial area of more than two lakh hectares of land. And that too in 
uh, forest sensitive area. So, the, so cutting down all the trees and mass thousands of hectares of forest land, and you are you are creating a situation where uh, it's not only about uh, deforestation and ultimately leading to desertification, but it's also about uh, threatening wildlife, threatening indigenous people who depend on forests and all. So there are many issues connected with palm oil. Next slide. Well, like here also, uh, I'm just spotting a page from Sanctuary Asia, where there's an appeal to young kids that uh, we have to be aware of what this palm oil issue is all about. It's all about this simple leaflet is talking about uh, extinction of species. It's not only about extinction of species of wildlife, but it's also talking about extinction of species of flora, tree species, plant species, uh, whatever is there. Because when you clear thousands of hectares of forest land, mass clearing of forest land, just to plant a monoculture, then you are destroying everything. Whatever was there in the forest area, trees, plant, herbs, uh, whatever, the microorganisms, lizards, birds, whatever, they are all being destroyed. So like this uh, statement from the Botanic Garden Conservation International, uh, they have clearly stated that because of only, because of only of palm oil, there's a threat of 30% of global tree species at risk of extinction. This is basically talking about tree species, endemic certain tree species uh, in biodiversity which areas like the tropical rainforest, Indonesia, Malaysia, Southeast Asia, Latin America. So the threat is very large in this. So we have to realize that uh, introduction of an exotic crop, monocrop in a region is not only talking about uh, grabbing land and all of that. It's also talking about extinction of species, species of what flora and fauna species. Next slide. So, uh, if you are, if you all have been keeping track of what the government of India plans to do, like I have quoted this from the uh, this report, uh, Department of Agriculture Cooperation and Farmers Welfare has identified 19.53 lakh hectares all over India, I think in around 12 states, and this includes 2.18 lakh hectare area in North India. Notice it, uh, the project is going to cover all eight states in Northeast India. And already project, pilot projects have started in some three or four states with nurseries being planned in Manipur. Some, there are reports of some nurseries only developed in Awal and Awal, Bishnupur and uh, Jiribam with a proposed pilot project in Surajapur. Next slide, please. So that's what the National Mission on Edible Oil is focused on oil palm is talking about. Government of India has cabinet recently sanctioned 11,040 pro for this project. Out of this, around 70 pro earmarked for North India. And uh, this huge money package is what governments are after. They want to grab this money basically, you know, uh, whether they do oil palm uh, in practice, in, in true practice or not. It's all about the money. It's a huge investment is being there. So uh, not it's not only about oil palm. We have been keeping track of other uh, projects proposed by the government, especially in Lokang Lake, there's a uh, two mega project proposed by the government. Uh, these projects are in terms of uh, thousands of crores. One project called a Loktak Ecotourism Mega Project, Loktak Mega Tourism Ecotourism Project, it's costing around 2,160 crores. So all these big 
budget projects are coming in. We are not sure whether government will ultimately try to push in this project uh, in their truth perspective. See, with elections coming in very soon, it's all about money. You, know? you get, you try to get the projects from the government of India as much as you want, as much as you can in this uh, three, four months left before election for Afghanistan comes in. So we are seeing that the government is trying to get as many projects from the center as possible. That only two projects with Lokak, then now with, with this palm oil, this is third. And there are so many uh, big, big projects. So uh, with reference to oil palm, I, in, my, in my capacity as an independent observer with the media, I see that uh, it's just not that oil palm is being uh, focused as a very uh, equitable, as a very profitable uh, project from Manipur. I'm sure that the government is uh, keeping this 11,040 pro budget in mind. You get, uh, you try to get as much money out of this for whatever reason. So for oil palm, uh, government has had. I've noticed that government has had internal uh, discussion within the government structure with the agriculture department and some other department. But there has been no uh, formal consultation with other stakeholders, whether it be with civil society organization or whether it's with farmers or whether it's with, with people where all farm is going to be introduced, the like in Infal, uh, West District, Jiribam District, Trantapur uh, District, Kabal Bishampur. There has been no formal consultation. This project is being just dropped down on us. It's a top down model project, and that's why we don't agree with what the government is trying to push in. What we are trying to uh, uh, approach talk to the government is that any project model has to be part of What is it for benefit and analysis? How is it going to impact land, forest, people? So, uh, as for palm oil, as I see, it's a drop down project on us, a drop down model, which in the long term doesn't have any uh, beneficial. I don't think it will benefit our land people. Like what I have, what I'm showing here in this slide is a very, what is a very alarming thing. We have pandemic last one and a half year now. And this report here, this report is by, it's a very authentic report published in the Sunshine in Veterinary Science. I've been reading about uh, the pandemic. I'm, I'm, I've been trying to keep track on discussion on this coronavirus pandemic. And suddenly I noticed this report where it says that uh, deforestation, desertification associated with oil farm. It's very interesting. Uh, research paper says that our breath of backbone and genetic disease are associated with changes in forest cover and oil farm expansion global scale. It will be published next year Latin America. So it's not just only us, but people in Europe, people in Latin America, they are trying, they are studying how oil palm monoculture, a problem of oil palm monoculture is affecting land people. Uh, land in terms of forest cover, especially very tropical uh, rich land forest. Imagine this in Southeast Asia, Northeast India. So uh, it, the discussion on oil palm is not just about uh, uh, how farmers are going to be benefited or how much uh, uh, beneficial schemes will farmers, local people get from oil palm and all. The discussion is more deeper. It's about how, see, there have been reports uh, from Latin America. If you see reports 
published basically on oil palm plantations from Latin America. What is happening in Peru? What is happening in Bolivia? Other than the environmental ecological aspects, there are many aspects on human rights violations. Companies, big companies, uh, oil palm extraction, they are grabbing land, grabbing land from indigenous, indigenous they are forcing on levers. There are cases of death and murder. There are so many cases of human rights violations. This has this aspect has to be seen along with uh, our assessment of long term impact, negative impact on forest land. Uh, in, if you are going more deeper into this oil palm discussion, uh, you may be uh, seeing, hearing that there's a possibility that where oil palm plantations are there, they may be classified as a category of forest. That is a very uh, dangerous aspect. If oil palm plantations come under the category of forest cover, then there is the, all the possibility that uh, reserve forest and class forest may be open out to oil palm plantation. That uh, is it's an assumption, but assume in the sense of how in the past few years, environmental laws like the environmental impact assessment have been diluted for to uh, make it more friendlier for companies uh, than Companies involved in mining, companies involved in industrial expansion. So it's a uh, effect on discuss any discussion on palm oil has to be you know, on a very deeper uh, level. Next slide. So just concluding with this cartoon, I just somebody posted it up in our uh, discussion group, and it's a uh, Although it's, it's a cartoon, it's very ironic. You see what on the left, you see what's happening on the right. Tree is gone. <laughs> so that's about it. And I can uh, discuss more when we have discussion later on. So that's a brief on what I read about oil palm. Thank you.